Today I want to show you another feature of RainCloud called the Run Queue. Now this is a, a new feature to RainCloud we haven't had in the past with uh, other telemetry options and what we want to do with the Run Queue is give you an update, a visual indicator on where the command is at in the process. So when you hit a command to stop a machine we will provide a run queue where that command will appear. It'll give you a little indicator bar on where it's at in the process. And it'll either complete, which is uh, what we want to have happen, or if, what if something happens in between, it doesn't complete the action. It'll allow you, the run queue will allow you to see the progress of that command. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we can click on any, any machine here. I'll go ahead and go into system 22. Right now it's uh, currently online, 154.3 degrees as far as the angle. Uh, I'm running in reverse. Well, I want to go ahead and, and send a command. So I'm going to click on stop and I'll confirm that by clicking the OK button. And now I have this command that is pending. And here it says I'm stopping the unit. And I can come over here and if there's other, other machines that I've sent commands to, if I go to the run queue, I'll see a, to a total list of all the machines. So right now it's saying it's contacting system 22 and it's going to stop that, that system. Now the sensor, this is specific to the stop feature. There's a, a sensor identification. That's what that five digit number is there. But as this gets progressing, as it gets to some checkpoints on our server system to the field and back again, you'll see this bar progress. It may go from, because it happens so quickly at times, it may go from just a little bar here to completely full and, and finished and it'll give us the result there. Let's go back to the dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and go to a another system. We'll come here to um, this particular unit here and this one's running. Perhaps let's uh, change the direction on this guy. We're going to set the direction to forward and we'll confirm that. Again, the forward it now shows as a pending command, setting the direction of this unit to forward. That's great. Let's go see what our run queue looks like. We'll go to our run queue. Notice it's now added contacting that machine direction of forward. And that is our run queue uh, concept, giving you a visual indication of where we're at with those commands. Thanks for watching.